Right, sound checking for audio. Bear with us, sound check. Happy rainy Monday, Friday, excuse me. <laughs> God. Why did I think it was Monday? <laughs> oh dear. Here we go. We have sound, sound check is working, yay, great. So, right, I'm just going to share this to two her techno techno bits. You now. go ahead, I'm just going to. Yeah, do okay. So, um, yeah, we, we've called this one Best Foot Forward because um, we have a new government. We have um, shitty weather. We have had an incredibly quiet week. And I can only assume it's possibly because of all the election mania. So we're really hoping that things will now sort of get back on track. And um, we are as umphy and as positive as ever, despite the weather, because we all know how I love this sort of weather, not. And um, uh, we are going for it. So even though business has been really I'm going to say shitty because it has been shitty keep using this week. That word. Well, it's kind of matches how it's been. Um, we have been busy behind the scenes, and I've been doing all sorts of jobs that nobody would even notice. Yesterday, I took the bucket out and I washed all the paintwork down, all the doors, swept the pavement. I got a knife out. I weeded everything. I cleaned up round by the bins at the top of the high street, and um, I just thought, well, it's absolutely dead, but we have to do something. So uh, we, we, we're we full of vim and vigour today, aren't we, Nick? It's like yeah, best foot forward, yeah. in spite of everything. Good morning, everybody. Yes, right? good morning. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've just put that into... Yeah, we're going for it, so... Hello, Simon. Things can only get wetter. <laughs> yes, Simon, I know you're well, a, fellow, a fellow sufferer with the weather, aren't you? Isn't this just the worst? But, you know, summer will come eventually, and um, we have sunshine in our hearts. And, um, you know, it's Friday, so it's Prosecco Day, so what the heck? If we go down, we go down screaming, okay? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we've got bits and things to show you today, but primarily it's going to be a sort of a walk around and just sort of, you know, chat on the way around. I'm rather hoping that Virginia will ask me some incredible questions, because she's quite good at doing that, put me on the spot, and it's just like, oh God! No question then. But we, we will just make a quick announcement. Um, it's the John Rolfe auction uh, viewing night tonight. And if you haven't been before, you really should go. Uh, he's up on the way to Tetbury at the Babdown Airfield, um, just past, what's the name of that health spa that I can never remember? Cot, um, Calcot, Calcot Manor. So, Drive past Calcott Manor and it's just past there towards Tetbury on the right hand side in the big old air, air hangers up there. And he's got a three day auction. He'll be a little wet spot where he used to be at the end of that, I'm quite sure. But viewing night is tonight. Um, he does canapes and prosecco and he has a band. Are you going? It's very social. Yes, I'm going. I am going. So um, I'll hold that up. It won't really help you a great deal because, of course, it's all back to front, I rather suspect, when we hold it that way around. Um, and the first two days are things like pictures, art, check. furniture, etc. And then if you turn the catalogue up the other way, at the back there's um, the collection, the James Castle Kinky Dinky Sale, lots and lots of miniatures, yeah, cars front, and things just, like that. Turn it around. Show us properly. Can I? Uh, so th there's the brochure. It's up the right way up because it's a two-part brochure. So you've got the two days, that two days sale in the front, and then you turn it over, and you've got the third day sale in there. So look him up online. Do come along if you possibly can. Mm -hmm. I have to say that um, sale rooms these days seem to be so much more online, and it's so much more fun when there are people in the room. And it's a very sociable auction, so it's a great one to go along to and um, watch an auction if you've never taken part before. But they're so friendly. It's such a laugh. I mean, you know, John is a real character. So if you get a chance, maybe see you up there tonight. And um, if not, then uh, hopefully you'll go up and have a look at the sale items. Second thing we wanted to say as well is 
We're just giving a big shout out to the Malt House in Stroud. Um, that's on the way to, I can never remember the name of that place either, Painswick. And it's a big two story red brick old mill building, two floors, rammed with all sorts of auction stuff and um, not auction stuff, when I talk about um, antiques and um, vintage. vintage wear. They've got a great cafe, ample parking, parking is free. And it would, it would take you a good two hours, wouldn't it, to sort of amble round, slowly looking at all the different things. More great House place Collective to go. on Instagram. Yeah. So if you get a chance, if you type in Multi's Collective Stroud in your sat-nav, it will take you there. They're closed on a Tuesday and a Wednesday, but we've got a concession on the first floor. We, we stock stuff much like the sort of stuff we stock here. And, of course, we have um, quite a range of the French Eat paint up there as well. So, and where is this shop? This shop is in, oh God, I'm struggling today. This <laughs> shop is in Wooten Under Edge uh, on the High Street. Wooten Under Edge is a great little um, Cotswold town on the edge of the Cotswolds. And it's a one-way system. And we're right at the top of the one-way system on the left-hand side. And we're open every day from 10 till 5. And we close on Wednesdays and Sundays. Can open by a special appointment if that's the only two Julie days people is saying, can do. Good morning. When the sun shines, hope you're all okay. Yay! Morning, well, Jules. Morning. I dare, I dare hex it, but actually looking out of the windows, I can see some sunshine. I well, can also see black clouds, but I can see some rubbish sun. in the morning, and then turns into summer day. Well, this is the, the summer. Around. Yes, I just want it to be gorgeous for at least three days in a row, and I can say, yep, we had a summer. Brits can't stop talking about the weather. No, or moaning about it. It's my favourite subject, moaning about the weather. Anyway, let's crack on with a few bits and pieces. I'm just going to slurp a quick cup of tea. Mm -hmm. We didn't want coffee this morning, did we? For some reason, we've all gone sort of teafied. Um, this is a project for you, Nick. I haven't shown you this one yet, but this is a project for you. This came in uh, yesterday, actually. Two mirrors and a candelabra. I'll show you both the mirrors. Now, this one is absolutely sort of hanging, really. Um, it's even broken in places. And the mirror plate's going to have to come out because you can see the wedges where they sort of wedged the mirror in. And if you look at the back, it's in a pretty poor state. It is very old. But I think we'll get Nick to take the mirror plate out. And then we will shabby sheet this. I won't even clean it. I'm just going to put an off-white paint over it. Aren't you handsome, Patty? Aren't you handsome? Look at your reflection. You're so beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to clean it. I'm going to do some white over it, maybe a bit of crackle glaze on some of this, and then you won't even notice that these pieces are missing. And um, the shabbier it is, actually, the better it is. He rather likes this mirror, doesn't he? <laughs> so we might do that one today, and then we'll use some brownie wax and some defining wax over it, and it will come to life because the gold that's on there is a pretty horrible gold. And um, I think by making it look quite French and distressed, it's going to improve it no end. We also had an oval mirror that came in over here. Um, this one is exceptionally heavy. It's actually a metal frame. It's a bevel-edged mirror. It's a good quality mirror. But again, we've got some sort of scraping of the gold paint up here. And I think that we will probably do something painting that one white. But it's a really nice mirror. We might put it on very cheaply to encourage somebody to come in and buy it and to then have a go at doing it themselves. So I guess that's going to be probably in the region of about, I don't know, 25 quid as it is. If we paint it, it will go up more. So if you fancy having to go at doing it yourself, then come in and get it quickly. Um, we had a candelabra down there, so I'll show you in a minute, which reminds me so much. Mum and Dad used to have one. It was on the table in the dining room. And um, I think Mum always had red candles in it. And I got exactly the same one bought in by somebody. And we've got black candles in it. And actually, it looks quite stylish. So funny. It's so kitsch. It's good. I wonder if it's the one I can remember. Yes, it is, I'm sure. So we've got a dear little rocking chair that's come in. Um, absolutely fine as it is, but so, so much more fun if somebody wanted to get a bit creative and paint it up. And there's different sections to that, and I think I'd probably go all out, multicolours, do the do on it, and um, that'd make a little kid very, very happy. Uh, we've got a little table here which came in. 
Sally, if you're watching, this is the table that we swapped out from your lounge. And um, without being rude to Sally, it was exceptionally wobbly. It was in a really bad state. And Nick, bless his heart, has decided rather than scrap it, he's taken it home, he's re-glued all the legs, he's put some um, screws in. And so today we will just repaint this one up, probably in black. And actually it's a very nice, sturdy little side table just now. What happens when you have a Nick in your life? Everybody should have a Nick in their life. It's a requirement. And if you have a shop and you're an upcycling shop, it's absolutely imperative. Um, I'm hoping that today I will get a phone call at 10 o'clock, a gentleman phoned yesterday, to say that he wanted the gold man. So I said, well, give me a call at 10 o'clock in the morning and we will sort it out for you. So um, hopefully Mr. Goldman will be off to his new home. So I'll miss him though, because he's been rather gorgeous. Um, just a quick look in here. Uh, I've been sort of collecting the bits of china that we will be using. Um, come the autumn, I'm going to be planting them all up. But I will keep the lids and <laughs> People are going, these. Planting them all up yes. wasn't what they were expecting. Hey, no. Diva, hello, <laughs> my dear friend. So I'm just thinking that if people are interested in buying them now, they are priced now. Um, that one is £30.95. They're antique, they're absolutely gorgeous and unusually Tracy Allen, they've got good their morning. level, their, their ladles in there. Hi Tracy, nice to see you. So yes, yeah, some pretty bits of china. Look how pretty that one is. Isn't that beautiful? That was thirty-four ninety-five. Royal China. So just describe just how lovely. you're going to plant them up. Well, I'm going to put some gravel or grit or sand or whatever it's going to be in the base of all these. We love the videos. Thanks, Diva. And then I'm going to plant them up with grey hyacinths or actual hyacinths and put moss over the top so they'll be rather lovely for the sort of the seaward period of time, which we're not going to talk about. Um, Make and mend saying good morning. Oh, good morning. Nice to Make have you on board. Our new shop in the yes, in the high street, absolutely mm. fantastic shop for all your sewing and everything yes, you could possibly wish for. Absolutely brilliant shop down at the bottom of the high street. Andrew on Ch left hand Chaffour side is saying good morning from Manchester. Good morning and thank you for being so marvellous. You're liking all my posts. Really appreciate it, Andrew. Keep it Pammy going. Grun thank is you. Saying good morning from Sardinia. Good morning, Pammy. Woo! Wow, this is great. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Lovely to have you all on board. Um, where else should we go? Down Pammy's in the other room. Pammy's got all the sun, hasn't she? Yes, Pammy's got all the sun. Lucky Pammy. <laughs> um, nice little, um, what would you call these things? They're decanters, aren't they? Fifteen ninety-five. Really nice, heavy stop. Very elegant shape, I thought, um, and a good price. So, um, 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 a lot of the things we saw from before, so we'll just wander around. There haven't been big pieces coming in this week, because as I say, it was deathly quiet. Everyone was saying the same though, weren't they? They were. The high street was dead because everyone was trepidation about the election. Yeah, and that's why I'm hoping that if, um, if it's now settled, uh, we can assume that maybe things will get back to some normality and god do we need it to so um fingers crossed on that um yes just ambling where did i put that candelabra oh yes look look at this ginger do you recognize this oh yes honestly it's so funny this was sort of the the height of luxury when we were kids i remember mum having this candelabra and not this dad, particular one dad being like a version of fiona but on steroids <laughs> in terms of what was allowed in our house <laughs> and he allowed that to be in the house so. and i i don't know quite how mum got away with it but i think she used to put red candles in it and when this came in with those two mirrors i kind of went also like oh took me right back to when we were what five yeah. six and it was in the middle of that lovely polished oak table that his dad had red, made red melted candle wax yeah all over it. Mm. So I bought some black candles for it because I thought that makes it look a little bit more gothic, a bit more kitsch. And actually, I'm really quite sentimentally attached to that. We haven't priced it yet. I think that the candles were more expensive than the candle holder, weren't they? So it's not going to be a load of money, but that's if I can Funny bear to part with it. Things that are sentimental attachments. Yes. Make us have to keep stuff. Yes. That we would normally just pass off. Well, it's good in some ways, but you know. You can't have your house full of 
stuff like that though, can you? Just behind you, Ginge, is that big lamp which we did show you last week, this one here. This is on for $134.95. It's a good, heavy lamp. It's all been pat tested, comes with a shade, and at $134.95, I think that's a steal. It's a really classy looking lamp. So we've still got the garden stuff. The lady came in uh, on Wednesday and bought three great big pots, which was lovely because it was beginning to get very congested. We've still got some really classy pots here. Tony and the bird Davies bar is saying good morning. Good morning, Mayor. <laughs> Thank you, Day, uh, Tony, for doing the um, videos that you've done for the Wooten High Street to promote it. It is fantastic. We will be sharing it. I think I've shared one already, but we will be sharing more. So um, he is the Lord Mayor of Stroud, but he does everything he can to promote town centres, and he is doing a fantastic job. We are extremely grateful. Fiona LP is saying good morning. Good morning, Fee. Wow, everybody's about today. This is marvellous. It's so I nice to have all my about 49 friends. groups. <laughs> well, that makes such a difference. It's great. So we'll have a quick look outside. Um, what was the other thing I was going to start painting today? Oh, yes, that's outside. And um, we'll have a look and see what people think of my idea for it. Um, Look, it's not actually raining. Yay! There's just a chance the sky might go blue. So um, this little table, which I've had on as it is, is on for 58 95 It's really pretty and would look fabulous painted up. And I've been itching to do it. So that was loud, wasn't it? Yeah. But today is the day. So this is going into our little back kitchen. And I'm going to start painting it, and I think I'm going to add loads of texture to it, coffee so it's sort of colours. So ninety-five as it stands. Once you paint it, it'll go it'll up be to two million. Two million pounds, as painted by moi. <laughs> um, no, it won't be a huge amount of money. I just want to paint it. It's going to look so much better, and it's got heat marks on the top and badly scratched and stained. So it's a fair game that one. We have got um, a watering can, which has got a hole in it. Always makes me laugh that people buy watering cans with holes in. Uh, but they make fantastic planters. That's and this one's nice. Sabotage. Yeah, it is. But I mean, you know, they make gorgeous planters. Some nice sort of red geraniums or some lapisha filing down over the top of it. They look great. So that one will go on. It only came out of the van 10 minutes ago, so we haven't priced it yet. But again, it won't be a lot of money. Fiona never gives any information out about oh, prices. Oh, God, I'm rubbish. But then what can I do? It comes in late at night or first thing in the morning, and we're stumped. You could just stay up all night. That's what you could well, do. I feel like I do a lot of the time. <laughs> this came in today. Again, I haven't priced it, but isn't that nice? Um, cute little thing and great for having in the garden with lots of plants on it or if we clean it up because this is just yeah that's just gunk on the top there somebody could even have it indoors couldn't they and um put their plants on That'll it indoors go in the orangery yes in the orangery of which everyone i haven't got, got. <laughs> but i'd like one haven't sold this yet surprise surprise i'm so shocked this hasn't gone i love it 84.95 seriously heavy with a beautiful crest at the back of it. I mean, that would just look so nice in somebody's fire surround. Um, chair hasn't gone, had a lot of interest in it, but nobody's actually bitten the bullet and bought it yet. Now that the election's over, maybe people will start to feel a little bit, yes, okay, we can ease up a bit. This is on for 195, fabulous shape. I mean, just fabulous. It's a bit like a sort of a, a metal chaise long, really. Um, and we've got the bathroom, um, shelf unit here this is a wall hanging one only it's not freestanding and again i think i might be inclined to paint that and paint over the bath sign and have it in my garden on a wall with plants in it i think that would look really rather nice plant pots um usual bits and pieces down here i've got a new fire pit I'm in not following her no don't follow me very nice fire pit which is on for 144.95 and look i haven't killed this yet I've been feeding it and it's got loads and loads and loads of nice new baby leaves on it. And it's very good with plants. And plant. that one is on for $42.95, including the pot, which is beautifully weathered. And it's an Acuba japonica. It's a hardy evergreen. And it's growing as we speak. I can't, can't get over how many new shoots and buds there are. So, mummy loves you. So that's it. Done. That was short and sweet, wasn't it? Well, short anyway. Don't know about sweet, but short.
So today's job is all about painting and being creative. We hope that the high street will resume normality, that people will be back out. It has literally been tumbleweed going down the high street. And um, I do pride myself on being the mistress of upcycling, upselling rather than upcycling, upselling. But you can only upsell to people if they're people in the street. So we hope that they all come back and um, away we go. And I just, I just noticed I priced these up yesterday. We did show you these last week. These very nice wooden candlesticks, thirty-four ninety-five for the pair. Got little bun feet, very attractive, and um, uh, that's what the price is now. So, anything else? Oh, that Steve was saying, if I ever get up to visit my cousins, I'll have to stop over in this area so I can come and look around this gorgeous shop. Thank you, Diva. Yes, and where is Diva to... hailing from? She's in. You're in uh, Devon, aren't you, Diva? In Devon. Diva Devon. from Devon. Yes. Yes, please do. Absolutely. We would love to see you. We make excellent coffee. So that's it. Um, if uh, anybody wants to see us tonight up at the John Rolfe auction Devon, preview, yeah. we will um, be there. Where's so, that? Let's just put that Just put that up once more. Yes, just once more. Just the tail end. There we go. There we are. There we are. There so we are. If you want to find out the information, that's on this evening. The auction will all be online as well. Saturday to Monday. Yes. So look it up online, but if you can be there in person, it's excellent That's fun. a Saturday, but you're going today. I'm going to the viewing tonight. Oh, it's viewing, viewing night tonight okay. with um, lots of frivolity and fun and laughter. And, um, and then the auction starts tomorrow. So it'd be Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Cool. Yeah. So have a great week, everybody. And um, we bye will bye. see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Pat. <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good week. Have a good Bye. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye.